Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the oil in your scooter. Procedure is very easy, so let's start immediately. It's important that the oil is hot during the job, so that it's easier to drain it. Remember that for faster draining of the oil, it's necessary to unscrew the dipstick. Let's take our drain pan, put it underneath, take a 17 millimeter socket and undrain the bolt. Once the oil has drained completely, we can clean very well our screw, our bolt. And we're gonna put it again. We don't want any debris or contaminant to go into the engine. So it's very important to work in a clean environment. Now let's take our torque wrench. and torque it to specs. Check your owner's manual for details. Now let's go to the other side of the scooter and we're gonna locate the bolt of the screen oil filter. We're gonna unscrew it. We're gonna put our drain pan underneath and we're gonna drain the remaining oil in the engine. While extracting the oil filter, we are gonna make a tension because we have a spring inside. The filter is now stuck inside, but as you can see, here it is. This is the configuration we are gonna put again into the engine after the job. Now we're going to take the filter and clean it. Now we're gonna take our screen filter. We're gonna put some fresh oil on the O-ring and we are gonna put it back inside. Very slowly and carefully and screwing by hand the first turns. Now let's take again our torque wrench and torque it to spec. Very well. Our last step is to remove the oil filter cap. As you can see, we have three bolts. We're gonna unscrew them with an eight millimeter socket. Now let's clean the remaining oil with paper towel. Let's again check for the o-ring. In this case it's okay, so we are not gonna replace it. Now that we have our cap cleaned and our new filter, we're going to put the new filter on the spring, like this. 
we're gonna put it back really carefully now we have only to put screws back In this case it's not necessary to use a torque wrench. Okay, now we're gonna clean with the degreaser multipurpose to verify within a few kilometers that there are no leaks. Okay, now we're gonna clean the dipstick and also this region. Now let's put fresh oil into the engine. In my case, it's a 10W40. Check your owner's manual. I recommend you to put uh, 80% of the recommended quantity so that you can then turn on the engine make it flow through the filter check the level and then fill till the end While the engine is running, we're gonna check for oil leaks. Now we're gonna unscrew the dipstick, put the funnel back. And put the remaining oil. Now you have only to reset the oil service light and the Job is done.